Greetings, family. I am Richard, coming to you today being Sunday, October the 6th, for another edition of Park and Spread. Now, I was going through my uh, Telegram, um, you know, my Telegram app this morning, and I came upon um, a very recent, like it wasn't from today, probably from a few days ago, but it was a video of some lawyer firm with a lawyer on a platform talking. Talking about what? All of this diddler stuff, okay? P. Daddy. And with, I think the title was, The Names Are Gonna Shock You. Well, it, it's not really gonna shock me. I don't think it's gonna shock any of you, Femi, because if, you know, you follow me, well, we're probably seeing eye to eye on you know, this whole, you know, corrupt system coming down and that, you know, many of these uh, celebrities are nothing but demonics. But that was the title. And I decided I wanted to make a video not because of the Diddler situation, but because what I was able to see on the back screen behind the curtain. All right, let me explain. So we all know that celebrities, you know, have been known to have handlers around them. So they could be like managers, lovers, friends, and they are often found or seen around that celebrity whenever there's an interview or they're on a platform speaking in case that they shut down, break down, they loop, they twitch. Uh, we've all seen like them just going blank for several moments, like Eminem or, uh, you know, like how, whatever Kathy Perry says about her eye, it's because she's used to a makeup artist. I call it bullshit. Uh, I think that is a program twitching. But this is what we would know as a handler, someone beside them, right? That's in the background. And that if there is an emergency with the product, that's a celebrity, they will say a specific word and then they come back to reality. Okay, we know what we're talking about. But this morning, though, when I watched this video, and I do have my iPad with me because I took um, a screenshot of it. So let me put my eyeballs on. So the title was Diddy. List of accomplices to be relieve, revealed in new lawsuits as lawyer warns names will shock you. All right. I don't care really about that. I know who's on there and it's not going to shock me. But if you look at the image here, okay. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, it's my best friend, Jenny, man, and me smiling. If uh, we look at this image here, and I want to zoom in to this beautiful lady here in mauve, in purple. This is why I'm making the video. Usually, I would see someone here and I'd see a handler here. But my radars went off. She's not a handler. She feels like a, I don't know what to call her, but the opposite of a, a handler. I watched the whole interview, he says about the names will shock you. And I kept my eyes on her. She was scanning the room left, center, right, in a very composed uh, position. I also like that she's wearing mauve purple, which is, you know, a very spiritual color. It felt like she was scanning the room in order to rebuke any, if any, upcoming nefarious energy. She felt not like a witch. She felt like some kind of high priestess. To some, it might sound funny, but I really did feel it. This is because I don't know why she is there. She never speaks. All she does is she's like a radar looking like left, center, right. And she's keeping a beautiful position. And I saw the girl is scanning. This beautiful woman is scanning the room. And she was scanning the room, I think, in case because this is a big deal. They probably don't want it to come out. Well, I do believe that the White Hats have already won, but I think there's minions, rats running around, right? And they do delve in black magic. So if we're fighting evil, we have to play with a high priestess. And she really felt like this. 
I could be wrong, but everything in my DNA tells me that, look how we've like wheel of fortune things around. Once it was a handler and now we got a priestess there and it did feel that way. So without further ado, I got my cards. So let me get my beautiful deck out for you, my family. And let's just ask, how do I want to ask this question? Um, okay, so let's start with um, this beautiful woman with the dark complexion, wearing the purple, the mauve, <coughs> beside this lawyer, giving this um, interview. It's not an interview. He's at a palladium, like a speech. Uh, uh, what, what do you call that? The news shows up and then you're on a platform. A Let's just call it a speech so I don't loop forever looking for the proper word. So this woman, like, was she like some kind of priestess in order to protect him to rebuke all incoming possible nefarious attacks? Is that why this woman was there? Okay, we're going to start with that and see. <laughs> the sun. Is that why that woman was there? All right, let's cut. Let's rock. Let's roll. First in line, guys. So there we go. The witch of the tarot. <laughs> Yo, high priestess, witch of the tarot. And then in order to prevent a third wheel party, a stick in your wheels. Followed by, yes, there's my strong yes, guys. Ace of Pentacles. So aces, as you know, I call them alpha cards. Granted the universe. I'm asking a question. Is this woman like a light warrior, like a high priestess, one of light? And is it because things have turned around where we don't need a handler anymore because the good guys are in control? And she is there to prevent those scurrying rats, right? Those minions that are running around. Because, you know, I mean, I guess even if you're evil, of course, you don't want to, like, be dead, right? And it was the Ace of Pentacles. Moving on to the second row. So there is a lot of exaggerated stress with the Nine of uh, Swords. Okay, so sleepless nights, stress, but it's highly exaggerated at the heartbeat. So now we got the counterpart for the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. So the answer is yes, this gorgeous... A uh, melanated woman in mauve in purple is muscle, right? Like, it's a different kind of muscle than what we're used to, like, with what we'd see, like, the mafia, right? Or it's like, a, it's been a spiritual war. And now it's a different kind of muscle. It comes as this goddess. Moving on, in order to celebrate third row. We got the higher ground at war, followed by, okay, so two things. Left, right, juggling, about juggling, juggling, juggling. We're juggling situations. So is this woman, yeah, so it is in order to juggle the dark, the light, the two sides, the yin, the yang. And the ninth card, the final card, is because it's been extremely confusing and we have been dealt in a time of illusion, delusion, smoke and mirrors. Now, the clarifiers, we got judgment that are here. Followed by, there's my other yes. So out of 78 cards, I got two aces that came out. The Ace of Pentacles, which is all about abundance, the golden era. This is a fiery element, right? And anything that is energy can be seen as fire. So, you know, like what I do is very fiery. What this woman would do, scanning the room, left, center, right. You know, like uh, stopping incoming possible attacks. It's a fire energy. And lastly, she's actually military and she is connected to anything that's seen as militia. I feel that, yes, she would be part of... Um, She's a mix, right? So she'd be part of uh, the White Hats, but there's a strong sense of the alliance attached to her. All right, so let's go for a Golden Major Arcana on this glorious parking spread. All right, so give me a uh, Luxipu, a uh, Quixie 
last glimpse at uh, this uh, beautiful melanated uh, woman there that I am calling like a muscle. Absolutely, I'm calling her muscle. And I don't even know how you would go and find this clip. It went on Telegram. I think the law firm is called AVA. And the last, because there was a big banner in the background and where her head is situated. Yes, there was a number 7474. So AVA, uh, law group people. Okay, so last uh, look -si poo on this subject, and we're going to go right here. The sun, most positive card, right? Cleansing, purifying, the solar flares we're going through, right? Like all the golden era, the gold back standard. So yeah, she is absolutely muscle. And I am so glad that I took you onto a parking spread for this because look, when I come to you, I don't like researching before. Like, I'll ask my higher self, sometimes pen, my pentacle, uh, not pentacle, but pendulum. And uh, if it's a good idea to, like, have this as a possibil uh, possibility of a video. But I don't look into it. Like, I don't do a spread. I keep that to share with you because it's, well, that's how I am. It's important. I don't want to be rehearsed or planned, right? So I was accurate. This woman, okay? I keep repeating this woman, this woman, I don't know what her name is, but why? Yeah, it was 7474 in the background. Um, this woman, what is so fun is because I did tap in. I got to shut uh, my iPad down and reopen. Is because I was used to always seeing and noticing and acknowledging that the people beside the celebrity or speaker were handlers. You'd see them nervous. This woman, there's nothing nervous about her. Like absolutely nothing nervous about her. And she is scanning. And I know how that feels because often when I walk into a populated room, that's how I am. Like I'll have a big smile and all, but I will scan like uh, uh, left, center, right. Uh, okay, ding, ding, ding. There's something like I recognize what she's doing. And did I lose the picture because I had to shut it down? Let's see, library, library, I think I lost it. Anyways, I think you saw it enough, but no, it's because I wanted to, no, I wanted to see it again. Hold on, for you, no, library, Friday, that was, no. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like I did an update on my iPad and it's fucked up. So there. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful time. Because if we do leave from the handler situation to like spiritual muscle working for the light, that speaks volume. And what is the subject? Several names are going to be dropped that you will be shocked. We're here. Isn't that amazing? I call it time to celebrate. Yeah, it's all a lock up. Everything is locking up really tightly now. So I love you all very much. I hope you love my little video and I'll catch you all on the next read. I am Richard. Take care, be good and kind to yourself and never forget to rock and roll. Ow! Cheers. Mwah.